Leukemia is the most common form of cancer in children. It is a cancer of the blood cells. When you have this, bone marrow starts to make too many abnormal white blood cells. They don't do the work of normal white blood cells. They grow at a faster rate. There are four main types of leukemia, ALL, AML, CLL, and CML. Acute leukemia is very rapid reproduction of cells, while chronic leukemia occurs, occurs slowly and can go undiagnosed for years. ALL is the most common in children, and this disease prevents healthy blood cells from being made. AML is most common among adult men and develops in the bone marrow. CLL is most common in people around 70. It is rarely seen in people lower than 40 and is the slow increase of white blood cells. CML is common in middle-aged adults and children. Another form of leukemia is hairy cell leukemia. However, it is a very rare form of chronic leukemia and it occurs in less than 6,000 people a year. Symptoms include fever, headaches, bruising or bleeding easily, bone or joint pain, swollen belly or spleen, lots of infections, feeling tired, losing weight or lack of hunger, swollen neck, armpits, or groin. Symptoms can be confused with the flu or Lyme disease. Some causes are radiation, exposure to chemicals, and chemotherapy. The problem with this disease is there is no known cure. Chemotherapy can help get rid of it for some time, but there is no way to get rid of it for sure. Ben Kendall is 11 years old. He has a brother, Joe, and an older brother, Will. His mother, Debbie, the woman in this video, is very loving and supportive. The husband, Bill, was unable to make it. Ben was diagnosed with leukemia eight years ago. This is his story. Okay, so my first question is, what form of leukemia? Uh, you remember? Well, it's um, acute lymphoblastic. It's A L L capital A L L is is the um, abbreviation. It's acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Okay. Can I drink? Uh, I'll put it there. Well, and it's actually the better of the two leukemias that I've been not supposed to. <laughs> and. Uh, how did you know? Um, he started, let's see, he was three and a half. And he was limping and um, saying that his leg was bothering him. When you walked, you know, do you remember? No. No? No. Um, and then he just, he didn't want to walk anymore. And so we, I ended up taking him to the doctor thinking that he had um, Lyme's disease. And um, they sent him for an x-ray, and his x-ray was negative, but I pushed for some blood work. So he got a CBC, and that's how they knew. And what stage is he in now? He's in remission. And he's actually been off medication for how many years do you know? Eight. No. Eight years ago you were diagnosed. Oh. How many years have you been off of medication? Two. Do you remember? Four. Four. Hundred. Four. Hundred. What treatments did he go through? He had three and a half years of treatment. Um, let's see, he had a combination of IV chemotherapy. Um, Yes, that were injected in his spinal cord, into his spinal fluid, and pills. Those are many companies. Do you need to know all the medications? No, no. Um, Those are a little harder. <laughs> How did this affect him growing up in his childhood? Um, Damn. What? You don't think it affected his childhood? Yeah. 
Well, he was still out there playing with us. He was. That's it just cool. was less rough housing. What you could have I could have played <laughs> I think it affected his childhood a little bit, but actually Ow. when a lot of people didn't think that he was sick because he always didn't look like he was sick yeah. unless he was bald. Like um, he played just like that one. Like that one. Yeah. He played just as hard as anybody else played, but he didn't last very long. He always got tired and came in and rested and stuff, but he didn't miss a lot of school. No. He went to school. Did he miss a lot of first grade? Never. Nope. I mean, he didn't feel all that great, but he still went to school. And Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday what? I went to the hospital, right? Every Wednesday you would go to the hospital, yeah. And came and got me. Mm-hmm. Got your blood work, got your medication, right? Yeah. Do you remember a lot of it? Yeah. yeah. That's all right. That's a good thing. Okay, well, that's all I needed, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. Shortly after my interview, Mrs. Kendall emailed me, and I quote, I just wanted to add something to what we were talking about. You did have a question about his childhood. It did really impact on his childhood. He really was not able to go to a lot of the places that a three and four year old could go because he needed to be very careful about being around sick people when his immune system was at a very compromised time. We were more scared that the infection would have killed him than the actual cancer. He did miss out on birthday parties and some school events, but for the most part, we made the best of what we could and gave him good experiences because we never knew that um, that would be his last with us. We still worry about him because you never know if this evil cancer could come back. After my interview, Ben pulled out a scrapbook. It is a scrapbook of the eight years since he's been diagnosed. It shows his birthday parties, it shows Halloween, and the fact that he was a Boy Scout. His mom helped him make it, and it's very sentimental to Ben. It took a while to get him to show me. It's full of pictures when he went through chemo and when he was first diagnosed. Those are the eight years of his life that he will never get back and that this disease has taken away from him. He is a very strong-willed character, and that is really incredible to see an 11-year-old. His family has been through a lot, and it is my pleasure to tell their story. Oh,